Oh my goodness. Happy July 1st, y'all. I hear fireworks and it reminded me that the 4th of July is literally right around the corner. But we're going to start this video off with the YouTuber Corey Kenshin. Now, I've never talked about him on my channel, but I've seen him on TikTok. Him going viral because it has been officially a year that he's been MIA. So in his last video, he told his community that I'll see you guys in nine months. And it's been a whole year since he has uploaded on his channel. And his community is concerned. They missed him. He did collab with another YouTuber about five months ago, a few times. And I think that's the last time the internet has seen him. He knows Kai Sinet. He knows your rage. He knows a, a few people. So comment down below. Was you guys subscribed to him? Did you used to watch him? Do you know where he is? Is his absence affecting you? Looks like Yanni has a message. Grab your headphones and let's listen. I want to tell y'all because I feel like telling y'all, but now I'm telling y'all and now y'all know and now y'all are having a field day and doing the most. And that's why I ain't tell y'all. But now since y'all know, I don't really give a fuck. Y'all not going to make me not enjoy my motherfucking time. Oh, sorry. I was just having a little, I was just chatting. <laughs> but yeah, I was showing them, I'm going to show y'all everything we got so far. Most of it is in Emily bought. But I bought two things. No, I bought I bought four of the things. So pretty much it sounds like she wants the internet to mind their business when it comes to her pregnancy. Do you guys think that she's going to like document her pregnancy journey? The doctor visits, the baby shower, the birth, labor and delivery, all of that. If she does, I think that she should like get somebody to manage her comments get somebody to read her comments and respond or just don't read the comments at all because you don't want that extra stress during your pregnancy and the internet is not for her and Troy's relationship because of their age difference anyway so the whole pregnancy thing like a lot of negative stuff a lot of negative comments is coming her way next up we have polo g's girlfriend and his bm crystal so the girlfriend wore this outfit the shirt says richer than your ex and i'm sure people was sending this to crystal like girl she is shading you so crystal hopped on twitter she said i could literally hurt females whole life with three words but i'll be holding everything in i get the last laugh always so when I seen this tweet, I was like, I wonder what could the three words be? He still want me. That's too many. He love me is three words. What y'all think the three words is? It got to be something about Polo G. Ah, what's this? More tweets, more tweets. And if you guys remember a couple of months ago, Crystal said this on live. Are you cool, Polo G girlfriend? Whoa, stop being messy. I don't want to talk about them people. Okay. Like... Good, good. Who the fuck is that, that to talk about? No shade. Oh, okay. You're right. Matter of fact, all shade. I, I stand on exactly what the fuck I said. That ain't nobody to discuss. No shade. Good. 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 The comments there, you didn't have that energy with her. So, if the comments knew, if the comments knew what went down in Atlanta on Easter Day, boo, if the comments knew, I don't even play with hoes like that. But, anyways. Mm. <clears throat> Some of the comments are saying Crystal needs to realize she's a hurt one. Girl, who cares? Sit down. She on Twitter arguing with herself. She crashing out. Do y'all think Crystal should have ignored her? Or was she in the right for responding on Twitter? All right, next up, we got Halle Bailey and Chloe Bailey. So they was at the BET Awards. And on the red carpet, you know, they have the, what is it called? I don't even know. I forgot. People interviewing them, right? And then the lady was like, oh, she told Chloe that Hallie was shading her. I'm going to play that clip in a sec. But I wanted to discuss the BET Awards in the comment section. If you guys seen it, I didn't watch it, to be honest. But I did see like the highlights and stuff. And I seen Taraji. People were saying Taraji was drunk because she messed up Hallie's name. And she was in a movie with Hallie. She mistook. Mistook. Is that a word? <laughs> she mistook uh some guy i think his name was jonathan or something but keith lee because they were sitting close to each other and then keith lee 
threw the rose down. So Taraji was like passing out, giving people their flowers and stuff. And the the rose that she gave Keith Lee, he threw it down. Then he deleted the post, and it was just it was it was a bit much. Let me know if y'all seen Taraji messing up everybody's name. Listen, I ain't got nothing to say about her messing up people's name because I mispronounce people's name. People mispronounce my name. They say Kiara when it's really Kiara. But yeah, being in a movie with Hallie and not knowing how to pronounce it, maybe she was. She probably was a little tipsy. <laughs> but here's a clip. She's the best aunt ever. And I mean, she feels like that's her child. I'm like, that's my baby, Chloe. Hello. I birthed him, not you, okay? <laughs> I love that. She's the best auntie ever. I am obsessed with Halo. I'm so proud of my sister. I was just with them yesterday. I stole them for the day. She was shading you. She's like, she thinks that's her baby. Oh, it's true. It's I can't true. even be offended. Oh, my God. She yeah, I think the interviewer was trying to be messy, saying she was shading you. Dang, Clarence can't even get his teeth fixed without people in the comments pressuring him to marry queen she is not about to marry him he still needs to work on himself he'd be cheating got your teeth done but didn't get her a ring yet y'all too worried about when he gonna marry her y'all go marry her <laughs> ah, i'm over it you guys i am so sick and tired of this whole queen naja and clarence marriage thing i've done multiple videos and they still ain't married so i'm over it of course i would love to see the wedding photos the vlog i think queen will be a beautiful bride but at this point i'm just presenting this to y'all to see what y'all got to say about it because i did not expect to see proposal uh comments on a teeth post like the dude got his teeth fixed and people still talking about the marriage thing like are they reaching or do y'all think that the internet should put pressure on on uh clarence okay so it says ruby rose exposes man for paying to meet her after he tried to diss drewski so this is chaotic this is little scrappy's friend right ruby and chaotic met up and she and he posted photos of her and he titled it me and my booski bye bye drewski Ruby commented on those pictures and said, you pay me to meet me. Let's not lie. And then I just went to his page because this is like a week old, y'all. I've seen this on TikTok, right? I went to his page and he deleted the pictures. But it's like, what? How much did you pay her? And this kind of confirms that rappers do be paying Ruby. Let me know what y'all think about this crazy stuff. I'll see y'all in the next video. I think you're pretty as fuck and you handled yourself well after that girl slapped you, so. I really appreciate it. Ruby, this is not fucking beauty magic. Okay, well, I think it's just great. Guys, I